Okay, so just sort of starting off from the front end of the stroke. Um, so hands have just been raised slightly and it's gonna be a really sort of hip led stroke. So hips are what engage first, um, but our back stays really, really strong and our shoulders as well. So our hip leads the, uh, the stroke away, but it take our shoulders and the handles with us. Our arms should be straight um, and we just take everything with us. The heel should go, should engage with the bottom of the foot plate, uh, still driving with just those hips. And as we get to about 90 degrees uh, with our legs, we just start to open out by pushing the hips through and driving the shoulders back. And we just keep our arms straight, arms straight, and then we start to push through our toes as we get over that kind of vertical point uh, with our body. And then our arms just finish off the stroke. Leading away, the arms extend away and they lead the body over. And then as our body comes to vertical, our knees start to rise up, as you can see here. And the body is just allowed to fall into place about that 11 o'clock position. So, you know, oftentimes people want you to get fully over before the legs are straight and that can be, um, yeah, really detrimental to your technique because it can be incredibly hard to get into that position. So just letting those knees raise slightly allows that body to come into the right position. So that body should be completely over by the time we're getting to roughly quarter to half slide, and that means uh, so the seat is quarter or halfway up the slide. We're coming forward. Again, those hands should raise as we come into the catch. And then we take the next stroke. So hip led, get to 90 degrees, start to open out that body, push those hips through. And then those arms just finish off uh, the stroke and the cycle begins again. Okay, so moving up the rates. So basically we're trying to do almost exactly the same thing. We're just moving quicker uh, is the absolute ideal scenario. Unfortunately for most people, this won't quite be the case. Um, so that body will come over that little bit, like especially on the recovery. So those hands and bodies will move together a bit quicker and those knees will rise a little bit sooner. But we're still trying to think of similar concepts. Concept. So you can see here by half slide, uh, our body is still over and in the right position, arms are straight. And we're trying to be nice and efficient with that technique. But it is much more difficult up the rates and a lot more difficult on what we call the static ergo. The static ergo is where just your body moves and not the machine. Whereas on a row machine like a row perfect or concept two dynamic, uh, the machine moves uh, and it's easier to move better at higher rates because you're just moving the machine uh, and not moving, you know, or here 100 kilos of body weight up and down the slide. You're just moving that machine away from you, which weighs you know, 10 kilos, um, similar to what a boat would weigh. And then there's just a few other really sort of high level examples. We've got Kim Crow. Um, who won Olympic gold uh, for Australia in the Rio Olympics in the women's single. Uh, and this is a really good example um, of, again, that hip-led drive, keeping arms straight. And then as she gets to the 90 degrees, those arms stay really, really straight. And again, arms leading things away, body over. Knees probably rising ever so slightly too quickly. But still really, really good technique, hip led away, pushing those hips against the legs and then arms come through.
I'll put a link to these videos in the description as well. Okay, and finally, we've got Josh Dunkley Smith, who is the current world record holder for 2K. And, you know, simply by virtue, you'd argue, you could argue that because he has the fastest time for 2K, which is the sort of standardized distance um, for testing rowing, um, he, he does have the best technique on, on an ergo. But if you, especially if you look at the drive, you can just see how hip led it is. You know, it keeps those shoulders in front of the hips for a really, really long time as he's driving. And then keeping the arms straight, opening up those hips, and then those arms just finish it off. So I can see at these you know, really higher rates, those knees rising pretty quickly, arms not quite straight, which is quite typical of these higher rates, especially on, again, that static ergo. Okay, so I hope you found that video useful. Um, just goes through what I consider the, the, the fundamentals for, for really, really good rowing. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Um, yeah, or feel free to join the uh, Facebook group where I do a live stream once a week uh, and just review your technical videos, give you some tips. Um, and then you can also find a bit more about my programs, one-to-one um, -one coaching uh, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, cheers.